so hi all welcome to our youtube channel we also have a website with the same name datamahadev.com all right where you can um, you know read articles related to artificial intelligence machine learning deep learning natural language processing computer vision etc etc so this is what it is all right in the previous video we discussed about how we can uh, apply basic arithmetic operations uh, using numpy and uh, uh, using the arithmetic operations that we used earlier on so this is what it is and in this uh, segment we'll be starting with what we'll be starting with the reshape we'll be starting with the reshape of a matrix how do we reshape a matrix in numpy using numpy all right so let us have a look at it a reshaping of a matrix of a matrix data the process of reshaping is very similar to the process of reshaping a data frame which we'll see after we complete our array part our numpy part all right so this is what it is so let us start with what let us start with reshaping of data let us take a matrix v is equal to let us take np dot array all right and we'll take what we'll take let's take a 5 comma 2 comma 7 comma 4 comma 1 all right comma uh, 8 comma 11 comma 15 comma 17 comma 25 all right so we've taken up a matrix let us check the shape of that matrix v dot shape so the shape of the matrix is 2 comma 5 all right so this is what it is or right, 2 comma 5 is the shape of the matrix now we need to reshape it to 5 comma 2 so how will we do that now before we start with reshape we will talk about what we'll talk about uh basically what dimensions are needed to basically reshape a particular matrix all right so 2 comma 5 is the shape all right so if we multiply 2 comma 5 basically 2 into 5 so it will be what it will be equivalent to 10 so the divisibles of 10 so this 2 comma 5 matrix can only be reshaped in the divisibles of 10 it can either be reshaped into 10 comma 1 1 comma 10 2 comma 2 comma 5 it is already it is a 5 comma 2 in divisibles of 10 only so this is what it is all right so it cannot be reshaped into 2 comma 4 to uh, 3 comma 3 uh see there are 10 elements 2 comma 2 into 5 10 elements so 3 comma 3 means 9 elements that means loss of information so numpy doesn't admit that and returns an error so this is what it is all right so if we want to reshape we will do what we will be reshaping in the divisibles of 10 if it is 2 comma 5 or if it is uh, let's say 4 comma 2 then 2 comma 4 8 comma 1 1 comma 8 like that so let us reshape so we will take v underscore rshp short form for reshape and we'll do what we'll take uh, basically uh, v dot reshape v is the mate uh, the name of the matrix v dot reshape 5 comma 2 all right now we'll print v underscore rshp all right as you can see it has been reshaped let me print this array also the original array v all right so this is what now we'll check what we'll check the shape of v underscore rshp dot shape and you can see it has been reshaped to 5 comma 2 now if we try to reshape let's uh, let's say take an example if we try to reshape into a 4 comma 2 so it will throw us what it will throw an error cannot reshape uh, array of size 10 into shape of 4 comma 2 so this is what it is all right yes we can reshape it into uh, 10 comma 1 all right we can reshape it into uh, 1 comma 10 also as you can see v underscore rshp dot shape dot shape can see 10 comma 1 all right uh, similarly we can play around with it we can uh, reshape into 1 comma 10 also it will be a horizontal matrix as you can see 1 comma 10 all right so this is what it is uh, v underscore rshp as you can see but we yes we cannot reshape into 1 comma 9 it means loss of information and numpy does not accept that all right so this is what is one of the most probable forms of reshaping a particular matrix all right now as you can see how it has reshaped it has taken two concurrent elements of a matrix 5 comma 2 and it has done what it has converted it into a into a uh, row all right so this is what a 5 comma 2 and it has converted into a single row 
Similarly, seven comma four two concurrent elements it is converted into it into a row. This is how it reshapes. So one of the probable techniques of reshaping a particular data. All right. Next we'll do what? Next we'll basically discuss how to, a different form of reshape, which is your transpose. Transpose of a matrix. Transpose of a matrix using NumPy. All right. It is very simple. Very simple. Just dot and capital T. All right. So we'll take a V underscore trans. Uh, short form for transpose and we'll do what v dot t the shape of v matrix is 2 comma 5 it will be converted into let us uh, print it it will be converted into a transpose matrix if we check its shape it will be equivalent to what it will be equivalent to 5 comma 2 now here the difference between reshape 5 comma 2 and uh, dot t transpose is what let us have a look at it so it is Say two concurrent elements, all right. It reshaped it what two concurrent elements and converted it into a single row, all right. And uh, uh, transposed it what transposed it what it basically took. Let me uh, basically print the let me print this matrix also, all right. It took what the the in mathematics we used to learn what we used to learn that transpose of a matrix is what converting rows into columns or columns into rows so basically not to get confused converting rows into columns so as you can see the rows earlier which were uh, what uh, the rows 5 2 7 4 they have been converted 5 2 7 4 1 they have been converted into columns all right and uh, the columns 5 8 2 11 7 15 have been uh, 4 17 1 25 have been converted into rows 5 8 5 8 2 11 2, 11, 7, 15. So this is what the prime purpose of transposing of a matrix is. So that's all we have in this video about to reshape. Do like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot everyone.